so what do we have here? This is a mock-up section of a wall, and we have plex plexiglass here uh, replacing what would normally be your interior um, sheetrock, gypsum board, plaster, what have you. So you can actually see okay, so this is the, the inside, inside of your wall. wall. Okay. So we have a few few framing bays here. And what what is shown here is typically what you see with a fiberglass bat installation. Um, right now you actually show, uh, it shows the, the fill tube that's in here that they use the, to fill these areas with cellulose but this is the cellulose and this is the cellulose okay. but but what's important to see here is how much airspace there is and so how relatively little insulation there is here yeah. so if you had a house with all these air gaps you can you still could benefit from having your house insulated even with if cellulose you have some fiberglass in there. even if there's fiberglass in it it, there, it may be beneficial okay depends how thin in, in the home we're doing today yeah they have a, a thin, very thin bat insulation. Okay. So we're going to uh, address it by adding more cellulose. So this is the outside of the house, just to show we're on the other side of uh, the, the wall that we just saw that was open with the cellulose and the fiberglass. So to insulate a house uh, from the outside, this is what you do. You take off the sidings. Yeah, typically with with a tube filled installation, mm -hmm. they would do remove a band of siding around the middle level of your of your wall, mm -hmm. so they can feed the tube up and pull it down as they're blowing cellulose, and feed the tube down and pull it up pull as it. as they're doing cellulose. So it actually has less holes doing the tube fill method than it would with a ordinary hose with a hole. Okay. So what's the impact on the co cosmetics of your house? So, uh, vinyl siding such as this is ideal. It's it's very removable and reinstallable without so any damage tell. at all. You'd never see it again. Okay. Um, and you plug the holes with styrofoam. Is that how and you they, do it? And they plug the foam with styrofoam. Uh, plug okay. the holes with styrofoam mm -hmm. um, for a good watertight, airtight seal. And you can equally do this with any other kind of uh, wood siding mm -hmm. with the. The, the only uh, necessary thing to do would be to paint, uh, to, to, to paint, paint over the nail holes okay. that you but might have to create. But it's not a big deal. Cellulose fills all around everything and makes yep. a nice airtight seal. But there is one concern in older homes around the turn of the century, um, early early 1900s homes have knob and tube wiring. Mm -hmm. Typically, uh, the first it was the first first stage of wiring. Yep. And it it's it's it can be a potential fire hazard to put yeah. cellulose into walls with knob and tube okay. wiring. So it either needs to be removed and rewired, uh -huh. or you should not put cellulose into it. Okay, so if you have knob and tube wiring, you shouldn't insulate you should your house not insulate your until house that's cellulose. been replaced. Okay, so here we have a cellulose truck. This is uh, if you have your home insulated. This is. What um, what happens? The uh, insulators come with their truck full of cellulose, and uh, they're going to be pumping it into your walls. So Tony here is going to show us around to show us how it works. What we're going to do is actually test the machine to have make sure we have a good amount of pressure to have a full dense pack capacity. Um, everybody, watch the face. Now we have adjustable settings on the machine to to know how much pounds of cubic foot that we're applying. As long as it's above 3.1 is manufacturer's instructions, we don't blow anything below 4.0 pounds per cubic foot. Gives her a better fill, better density, um, and we still don't blow out walls. So, <laughs> which is the important thing. Um, out of print newspaper, that's just grounded down and treated with the boric chemical. It's uh, the most envir environmentally friendly second to denim that I know, but definitely more cost effective than denim is. Um, comes in these average 25 and a half pound bags, blocks. These go into our agitator, get broken up, mixed, and then shot down through all these different grates that we have for t all different applications, which this is very important. Right now we're using a smaller hose um, for the tubing, the walls, and then a smaller grate that's applicable to that. This is for if there was no insulation in the walls. Then we have um, slopes 
and floors that we dense pack. And then we just have an open attic. So where does this go? This goes into... Okay. The lower part of the machine. Okay. And this this allows that size product to go through, nothing bigger. Okay. Um, so we know we're not clogging up the machine with too much product, and we're not we know nothing's passing through to have any type of bypassing, which is very important. We would never use this on an open attic application because obviously it would take too long, and we'd never use a grate like this for a wall application because it would be too much. You would, too and fast. then too much product in the tube equals not enough pressure from the machine equals bad fills in the walls. Okay. So it's very important to have the applicable spacing. But I mean, this machine is, it's a great machine for me, for um, what the applications that I do. It might not be great for other people, but it handles great for us. We check the pressure at least once, twice a week to make sure that the pounds per cubic foot that we're installing is up to par. Because we don't want to shoot for anything so below that. So you really that. need to check, make sure your machine works. Right, and absolutely. It. And it's all just um, basic uh, preventative maintenance. You know, yep. make sure the belts are lube, make sure the chains are lube, make sure you have good air intakes and whatnot. Yep. Um, it's, a, it's a very simple machine and it works if you work it. Okay. Right? So the hose get, get thrown out into this big tube and then into the, the hose into the house. Correct. And so how long does it take to insulate, you know, your average sort of two family home in Somerville or sort of I ranch? Would, I would estimate nothing less um, than a day and a half two days. Okay. Um, basically because a lot of people are out just to do money to fast turnaround. Um, you want to take your time, you want to do thermal scans before and after, you want to make sure every cavity is filled before you leave, which not, not too many people are doing. It's just uh, yep. um, the, the contractor shows up and says, trust me, we'll get them all. And then before you get home from work, they're already gone and here bill comes in the mail. So it's a, you know, it can move as fast as you want it to. The walls will only fill so much. Right. Um, but it really comes down to how passion over price. You know, right. how passionate is... Well, it's not just passion, but price. I mean, your energy savings down the road. Absolutely, right? absolutely. And a lot of people really look at the upfront cost mm -hmm. of what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it could be pretty drastic, but to pay that back in three or four years, you know, and then this, there's a lifetime of savings, right. 30, 50 years past and that. Comfort. And Right. And you're lowering carbon emissions yeah. for climate change. It, it, it's, it goes full circle. Yeah. There's really, I mean, it, Great for the economy, great for the environment, it's great. And good for people. Yeah, I, I haven't found a downfall yet. Okay, great. Well, thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. All right. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, we hope you learned a lot and uh, that you'll be moved to go insulate your homes. We want to thank the Energy All Stars um, who do the insulation and Big Meister uh, for um, telling us about how to properly insulate our house and air seal it. We also want to thank the city of Somerville uh, for doing these videos and uh, Please go to SomervilleClimateAction.org if you have any more questions about how to properly insulate your home and feel free to give us a call and we'll be happy to walk you through the process.